Hey everyone, and welcome to the Captain Jupiter Show. It is I, Captain Jupiter, and this is just another of Captain Jupiter's cribs, I guess you could call it. Uh, I hope I don't get uh, sued for that. Anyways, yeah, today is just a, a little tour of my uh, of my Starfield uh, my Starfield baby. Uh, it's the reason I've not crossed through to the other side on my first ever save of this game. Probably never will, because I don't ever want to lose this ship. And uh, it's kind of my pride and joy. I built it from the ground up. I called it the Claymore. I didn't realize there was already an eclectic uh, group whose ships are called the Claymore. But my Claymore is way better. I've killed so many of their Claymores. My ship is the Claymore. Anyway, <clears throat> it's a pretty good size. You know, it's about, I think it's uh, six wide. Um, one, two, three, four. It's five wide. Five wide, um, pretty robust combination of quarters, all of which I've articulated into a really easy to navigate situation. Um, got a big giant, uh, big giant cockpit, you know, as uh, as you can imagine, I probably would. Big, big giant one. Um, I kind of originally was trying to model it after. This sounds stupid, but the plane from Tailspin kind of it i try to wanted to make i wanted to make it look like kind of like a seaplane um that's before i had like the big middle cod piece there it kind of looked like it had floaters and it kind of almost looked like a seaplane for a little while but eventually i just kind of built it up and made it bigger and bigger and uh yeah i got a good selection of uh, auto turrets which do a really good job um i got the big missile launchers on the back there bunch of engines keep me going real quick a lot of fuel that's two fuel two different sets of fuel cells on the side there um side port entrance um yeah that's my crew quarters or uh, sorry my uh, my captain's quarter at the very top in the middle um that's where i kind of do my big thinking <clears throat> yeah a lot of windows for people to look through uh and yeah um let's take a look at the inside shall we um, side entrance, side entrance when you're outside. And here we are. So, uh, yeah, you kind of just walk in, obviously, and, uh, board, don't go to the cockpit, board, thank you. Oops, that's right. Okay. Very good. Okay, and then through here. This is kind of just the very back of the ship. First thing, uh, this is the cargo hold. This is where we keep all the good shit. This is where I keep my good stuff. <clears throat> um, it's pretty quiet in here. You know, I just uh, rearrange. I mean, what a mess. I try not to. Like, I don't know why everything is a mess like this. I try not to do that. But uh, it is a nice, quiet place to hang out, too. You know, it's the very back bottom of the ship. Um, well, I guess it's the front. It's the front bottom of the ship. You know, you can hang out here, do some writing, do some thinking. I know the crew sneak back here and have naps, too. Like, there's always a blanket folded up. Like, look at that. Like, the crew, they're having naps out here, and that's fine. Um, I certainly don't mind that, per se. And, uh, yeah, I could store shit. You could just come back here, have a drink, have a nap, I guess, clearly. Um, kind of my favorite part, though, honestly, if I'm, uh, if I'm being full disclosure with you, it's right here. This shitter. Nobody, oh my god, someone's made a mess. That's not usually like that. But this shitter is the best, honestly. Like, you come back here, you close yourself up, you sit down, and nobody even knows you're here. You know, if you're really going through it, you can turn the fan on, get that blowing on you, wash your hands, you know, splash some water on you, and no one would even know you're in here. You could be in here for a week, no one would even know. It's a massive ship, and uh, yeah, this is the lower quarter. Anyway, you can drop a really nice shit there, no one would even know you're there. Um, anyway, attached to the cargo hold is uh, where I do my crafting. <clears throat> 
Now I keep the crafting department uh, at the very bottom deck because I mean I'm, I'm working with chemicals down here there's gases powders creams different things little explosions all sorts so I keep it down away from everybody you know I'm drilling I'm making noises I'm banging so I mean I may as well be down in the cargo hold away from everybody so let's, uh, let's close that up I don't know where the door is there's no door okay all right let's leave the cargo hold uh, back into the entrance here where Moara is staring at the door so on the other side, the lower deck, this is engineering. This is where I make sure, uh, you know, everything's tip-top, tickety-boo. Make sure all the, uh, you know, the uh, uh, the TK-6 is running at uh, optimal levels. Uh, SSI, the POP, the RA, yeah, all that's running great. You know, listen to it. Just humming. Hear that? Just humming. It's beautiful. Got some spare parts down here. It's not usually such a mess. I don't even know what that is, but yeah. Um, yeah, no, everything's going good. Got all the pipes and everything. And also, though, a nice place to chill out. You can come have a seat and uh, go over, you know. Essentially, I could control the whole ship from down here. I've got a whole. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's the very lower very lower capsule of the ship you know like I say this would be exit outside and then anyway one floor up one floor up is crew quarters so this is where my crew just uh, does their thing I don't come down here all the time I give them their privacy um, so you come in here and uh, this is part of just general living area it's usually closed I don't know why everything's open but uh, general living area, you know, you hang out here. Um, oh, my, <laughs> my God. My favorite person. Ah, hi. Headlights. She's hot. I should put the headlight on. Yeah. Nope, too bright. Anyways. Yeah, this is just the very back end of the, uh, of the uh, residential area of the ship. And uh, I like to keep these closed. What the hell, everybody? So anyway, attached to the residential area, we have the medical wing. Um, this if you're real sick or banged up, yeah, come have a come have a nap back here. Um, looks like uh, Sarah's going to be our nurse, and then attached to that is our research lab. I feel like both of which are you know really they're like clean areas, so I figured keep them together to keep this closed. So that's the lab, you know, keep them closed, keep the med bay closed because they're like clean areas, so. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's just off the residential area. Another shitter. A little bit nicer than downstairs, but also everybody uses this one, so... Sarah, you're not going to close that after yourself, are you? I'm nope. And uh, anyway, at the very, very back end, this is actually where you... Uh, where you board another ship. It's a sideboard, so we just go through here. If I was attached to another ship, it would just be through here. And uh, But I keep this locked away. It's got its own little door. This is always closed, unless I'm going into another ship, which isn't all the time. But So yeah, keep it closed. We don't really use that door. It stays closed unless we... Uh, yeah, unless we're boarded. Anyway, whether you come from the medical wing, or from another ship, or from the ladder, um, you find yourself in the general living area until you come through here and this is like the common area this is where you come in hang out hey buddy what's up dude just hanging out that's cool you come in here you hang out you uh, watch TV or just chill it on the couch make yourself an espresso or a soft drink or you know lift some weight man do it up you got some mats here got some mats here relentless and Tama might enjoy that they kinda got the whole same little situation going on you can Really pump some serious weight or do some yoga, whatever. Get the fan on you, get the ball going, whatever. Flexibility. Do a little flexibition. Or you can come over here and play Solar Frontiers. You know, pull up a chair with everybody, play a little Uno, whatever. You know, you're just in the common area. This is where you just unwind. You're not on shift. This is just where you just chill. You breathe free. Um, and just off of. Uh, the common area, we've got this little nook where you can play play games or meditate or whatever. Uh, store some shit. I think people just store some of their like items they're not using. 
in their bunk. Um, and just off of that, keep this closed, guys, you idiots. Anyways, just off the common area is this, uh, yeah, just another little uh, living area. It's kind of tucked away in the residential floor, but really nice place to chill out. Make yourself a meal. Why are you going in there? Anyways, as Andresia is about to show us, um, this is just uh, storage. Just uh, just a, a random, you know, meal. I think food, a lot of, like, kitchen items. What do we got here? Oh, a lot of, lot of liquor. We got a lot of liquor down here. Yeah, just storage. You know, if you're feeling snacky or something, it's not, uh, it's not really in it for you to go to the cafeteria. Then, yeah, just go back here, grab yourself a snack, make yourself some food, whatever. Anyway, back to the common area. Very nice. And the other turn off the common area. Once again, we have another nook where you can do some studying. Dusty. 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 I hate you. Anyways, off the common area through the nook, we have the cafeteria. Yeah, friggin' cafeteria. I have a goddamn cafeteria on my ship. A full-size cafeteria, man. This place is comfortable, daddy. You come here, it's comfortable. Um, yeah, you come through, you know, where you put your garbage and recycles and all that. But, uh, yeah, have a good meal. Play a game. It appears like somebody got through a game of symbol. That's fun. Got some snacks. Um, come into the kitchen here. You can make yourself a make yourself a meal or if the cook's on duty if i have a cook i don't think i do but if we have a cook they can make you a meal um good windows too you know if you're just trying to look out see where we're parked or look out onto space from the kitchen i mean we got a, a great little bubble window here this is looking out the front of the ship cockpit's right up there yeah the kitchen's got its own little window which is nice um, this is the pantry. This is where we got, like, frozen goods. You know, like frozen meals or condiments or whatever. Napkins. Uh, fully functional. Yep, stove. You can make anything you need. Anything you can imagine you can make. Sarah. Oh, what do you got going on there? What is that? Oh, that looks... I don't even know what she's eating, but that looks good. Yep, anyway, come here, have a meal, make Any yourself a coffee... Please shut up. Uh, we make yourself an espresso or a tea. Um, and here we go. We got this little like uh, conference room. Um, if I was gonna have like a meeting with like my most trusted advisors, I'd have it in this room. Um, if I was gonna have like a, a meal or a date, it would be in this room. It also has its own little view, beautiful view. Yeah, love it. Yeah, you know, you could turn something on here. Maybe some uh, the news or. Maybe something romantic. I mean, ice bucket. You can make yourself drinks, cocktail shake. It's any. It's a utility. It could be anything. Anything, really. And then, uh, yeah, right over here. There's not too much going on here. Game of darts, though. You can play darts. That's always fun. Once again, a big old window. Three windows. Side by side. Play yourself a good game of electro darts. There's still a sharp kind, but... Yeah, but anyway, that's the, uh, you know... Throw your garbage here anyway when you're done. That's the residential area. It's pretty fancy. It's really, really nice, and it's easy to navigate. I I just love how everything's in its own place, and when you're done with that specific area, you just hit the ladder, and uh, yeah, that's what we're about to do. Hit the ladder to the next floor, which is going to be the command floor, I call it. This is where all the tactical shit, you know, battle stations and all that shit. That's here. Vasco's doing really normal stuff that's cool um so anyway if you if you just come off the ladder this is the co command floor so right off the command floor we have uh the brig this is uh where we keep criminals i guess this is where we would keep uh brigands and robbers and spacers and everything if we had like prisoners we keep them here got cameras this is essentially the most secure room on the ship it's the most secure room on the ship um, if you want to do some doodles you can but uh, mostly it's about keeping criminals in their place uh, stowing their criminal items and uh, just hanging out being a warden it's fun being a warden sometimes just hang out you got you got some criminals like ah, I wish I, let me out Ugh. yeah that's where the, all this would happen 
And just off of the brig, we have the most important room. I really debated where to put this room, because like essentially it's the most important room of the ship. It's the server room. It's where all the information's kept, like all the ship's information is housed here. It's the brain of the ship. But I figured, you know, there's cameras, it's the most secure room in the ship. Let's keep the server room here. So yeah, this is the server room, right off the brig. It's, uh, it's the brain and heart of the ship. I guess the engine room would be the heart, honestly, but... Anyway, yeah, it's the server room. You know, you can hang out here, make yourself a little drink, and just monitor ship activity, uh, storage, capacities, all that different... I don't know. It's kind of over my head. I, I have it for the big brains to just do their thing. It's really over my head, but... But anyway, yeah. Whoops. That's the brig. Right-hand turn. Oh, fast go. And then if you turn left, um, we have the first command room. It's kind of like a little, a tight little command room. Uh, hallway, I guess. Kind of do whatever here. I think you can pretty much control the whole ship off this. I'll type it doohickeys and dials, a, a dual command center, really important stuff. If we're in a firefight, this is where people hang out, partially. Um, and then, yeah, good windows, too, you know? I don't leave that out. I always make sure that every floor has, like, a really nice view, you can really see what's going on. The large cockpit really gets in the way there. It's quite a large cockpit. And let's see here. And then, speaking of cockpit, a little further in, that's what that is. But first, the command room. This is where shit really gets wild. If I'm in a firefight, this is where like everybody would kind of just like, you know, if you weren't in that first command room, you'd be here. Kind of just like setting shit up. Uh, going over different uh, algorithms and whatever. I think over here, this is probably where you'd, uh, I don't know, input trajectories and whatnot. Or just check out the view. Yeah, that's really quite nice. And, uh, you know, we got a little air dispenser here. This is pretty nice, you know, it keeps things fresh, I think. I don't know. But yeah. What a nice, beautiful view. Alright. Then, right off the controls, or right off the, uh, the battle room, I think that is, bat battle station, whatever, battle room, is the cockpit. And it is a big, big cockpit. A large cockpit. Yes, you can admire the girth of it. Got little side rooms even. The cockpit even has like little side rooms here. If you're not trying to be in like the full cockpit, you can just hang out in the side room and it's definitely not built for comfort. I've had other uh, other cockpits that are definitely a little bit more cushy, better chairs. And... But this thing's more just like, you know, it's functional. You know, cockpit isn't the place where you get comfortable. That's that's residential floor. This is the, uh, the command floor. This is where shit uh, is, is functional. Couple of side rooms off the cockpit. Uh, uh, some more. I think those are chairs you can extend if we need more seating. But lots of seats. Lots of seats. A little bit. Of, yeah. Anyways, um, the interesting thing is it is a dual cockpit. You can you could have two, I guess potentially, helping drive the damn thing. But the only reason I picked this cockpit, besides the size, is like, God, you can see everything. Like if you're off in space, like you could just stand here. And just look around and see shooting stars and ships flying around. And it's pretty beautiful off in space. But uh, yeah, anyway, this is where you do the controlling. This is where you, uh, obviously, it's cockpit. And the thing about this is it has its own navigation console. So literally, I don't even have to sit in that chair. I can sit here, stand here, and uh, do pretty much everything except for the fighting. Just right here. Plot out a course and do all that fun stuff. Anyway. Boom. 
Close that up. That's the command floor. That's, uh, yeah. Not a lot of fun happens here. This is, like, a, just a functional floor. Even though it has, like, a lot of view. It's just a functional floor. Where just the action takes place. And another, another floor where the action takes place is the next floor. Which is exclusively Captain's Quarters. And this is where me and Andresia get the real action going. Pretty much every night. Pretty much every night we get it going. Um, this is kind of just like my storage. Keep my clothes or my toys or my comic books. They're in here. And then, yeah. Right in here is my is my pod. It's a Nova pod. It's from the Nova company. It seemed the most comfortable um, even though it's got these archways that kind of like narrow the space, it, uh, seems the most comfortable. I mean, this is like my office. I don't have a chair for some reason, but this is my office. This is where I kind of just like take care of business, do my signings or leave huge coffee stains on my important paperwork. Damn it. Or just look off into space all alone up in my captain's quarters, just off in the, uh, off in, the cr off in the crow's nest. You could call it the crow's nest. Yeah, that's where I hit that up. And, uh, yes. Great stuff. A little further in. This is where me and Andresia sleep. Somehow the both of us get it on in here. Um, my tiny little bedroom. It's comfortable, but tiny. But, yeah, we get it on in here. We kind of just, uh... Damn, we love space. We really, we do. We really do. And I gotta do a safety drill soon. Right, right, right. Okay. But yeah, me and Andresia, we get it on in there, or just have talks. Got my weights here when I'm feeling, feeling beefy. Little corner. It's for whatever. Big whatever. Over here, it's my little galley. Tiny little galley. I can make some toast. Um, some synthetic turkey, obviously. I'm gonna eat that right now. That's delicious. Um. Yeah, it's a little messy right now. I usually keep it a little tidier than that, but a little galley. You can make some tea, all types of teas or whatever. And uh, carry on a little bit further. And this is kind of just like our, me and Andresia's little hangout. Like, I'll sit up here, get the fan on me, and just kind of forget about how stressful space is. Make myself some tea once again over here. Or sometimes we'll play some cards. Or she'll leave her slippers out sometimes. That's cute. Ah. Uh, it's freaking cute. Oh my god. Jesus. Anyways. Yeah. Absolute beauty. Absolute thing of beauty. Um, it's a really good, nice place to chill out. It's the captain's quarters. Anyway, let's just see what this thing looks like from space. In space. Oh! One floor down. Vasco once again acting normal. Alright. You know what? All we have to do is take off. We don't have to do anything special. It's, uh... Wowie. Okay, let's uh, take our seat. Oh, look at that hair. I usually have hair. That's fine. I don't right now. I usually have a hairdo, though. Anyway, let's take off. It's quite a sight. It is quite a sight. Ugh. Oh. I mean, you just see that coming. You just know you're in trouble. You know you're in trouble. Recalculating. Yeah, yeah, you'd think that's weird, but that's a place to actually hang Earth. out. That's a nice place to hang out. Still a baldy. That's cool. I kind of like that hairdo, actually. I might keep that. That's cool. Wow. Anyways, <laughs> but no, this is actually just a place to stand and look out. It's not irregular to be there. But I mean, god damn, the view. Ain't that something. Oh, okay, see ya. 
Thought we were having a moment there, buddy. Yeah, it's really nice. And yeah, that's kind of why, uh, kind of why I love the damn thing so much, and why I will never—I don't think I'll ever pass through the other, to the other side with this guy. Even though I think it's the only way I'm going to fix some of the bugs I deal with. But yeah. It's like, and probably the only reason I've never really fucked with an outpost too hard. Just because, like, this is literally my home. I don't need to have an outpost on a planet. Like, I'll probably start messing with that at some point. But this is basically just my home, really. Like, I spent all my time on here. It looks cool, it feels cool, it's sleek. Despite its size, it's fairly sleek. But uh, yeah, that's the Claymore. Real, real absolute beauty. And something I'm probably gonna hang on to. I'm not gonna let this one slip away in time. Unless I figure out there's some way to like, make your trip, or make your ship stay through the ages or through the next universe I don't know but I don't think there is so this will stay with me anyhow hope you enjoyed that that's just a quick little tour of my claymore my uh, my beloved claymore and uh, yeah just one entry of many in the captain's cribs so uh, yeah thank you so much and feel free to uh, do any of the things anyways Peace and love.